saw this one other brown man, my eyes locked with his. His eyes locked with mine. And at exactly the same time, we both went... <laughs> the reason I love this job, right, is you get to go around the world and experience so many amazing things. And you learn so much about yourself. And, you know, you might think, Ishan, where did you learn so much about yourself this particular year? Was it Australia? Was it New Zealand? No, it was Belfast. Now, <laughs> who here has been to Belfast? If you, you, you should go. I really recommend you go. Go if you're English. There's a lot of history there. <laughs> Tetchy already, right? So I went to Belfast. I like Belfast as a city, but it's not a very diverse place. Now, I'm not one of those comedians that really cares about that. As long as you've got one Indian restaurant, we're golden, right? <laughs> so I went to Belfast. I went to the supermarket because I needed some bread. I turned the corner in, in the aisle, right? And something happened in this supermarket that changed my life forever. I turned the corner into the aisle, and there he was at the other end of the aisle. One other brown <laughs> man. <laughs> and the thing that happened next happened. I can't believe it happened, but it did happen, and it rocked my world. Because here's what happened. I saw this one other brown man, my eyes locked with his. His eyes locked with mine. And at exactly the same time, we both went... Do you understand how angry I was? I was like, I can't believe this. I've gone to a place, an unfamiliar place. I saw one other brown dude. I did just now. I saw him. I was like, hello, mate. How are you? <laughs> I was so angry. I was like, I can't believe this. I proved a stereotype true by going to Belfast. I saw one other brown man, and I started doing a head wobble. I was so angry. I was like, do you know what? I don't need bread. <laughs> I went back to my hotel room. This is how angry I was. Straight men in the audience, you'll understand this. I was so angry, I couldn't even <laughs> it off. <laughs> I was so angry, I went back to the hotel room, I was like, I can't believe I proved a stereotype true. But then, as I settled down, I thought, hold on a minute, hold on. It is embarrassing that I proved the stereotype true. But there's something quite nice about the fact that I saw one other Asian person in unfamiliar territory, and we both had this non-verbal way of acknowledging the existence of the other person. I think it's a security thing. And then I realised that all big groups, racial groups, have got this. So apparently with Asian people, it's a... Uh, <laughs> Black people, famously, have got quite a few, right? It could be like a little spud or a little... <laughs> I'm not black, so it doesn't look good. <laughs> and white people, you've got one as well, you've got one as well. Uh, you make your lips disappear. Belfast is quite a fun place, though. And here's the thing with me, is when I go to places like Belfast, like, I want to be able to, like, drink there. Like, go and have a Guinness, you go to Belfast, enjoy it. And I know, my dad's not going to watch this, I'm Muslim, I shouldn't be doing that. Anyway, right? <laughs> go to Belfast, have a drink. The last time I was there, I was with some friends of mine, right? And uh, we were all doing uh, a gig, and after the gig, we all started having a drink. And my flight the next morning was at 6.30 in the morning, right? So the gig finished about 10 o'clock, I'm drinking. So about 11 o'clock, I was like, do you know what? I'm going to go back to the hotel room. And my friend said to me, no, you're not. I said, really? They said, yeah. I said, what am I going to do? They said, what you're going to do is you're going to drink with us and go straight to the airport from here. Legend! <laughs> yes, please. I love a sesh. That's why they call me Seshan Akbar. <laughs> I love a sesh, me. So I was like, do you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drink and I'm going to go straight to the airport. About 4.30, I decided to call a cab. Call the cab, got to the airport. I was hammered. I was the kind of hammered but you know when you think you're making eye contact with someone but you're actually looking at their cheek? Like I was I was so hammered I, I was standing in the queue just swaying side to side and that's when the drunken anxiety hit me. I was like oh my god I can't believe this. I'm about to become the first Muslim rejected from flying for being too drunk. <laughs> Then I had to think about it again, tried to drink some water, settle down in my brain. I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Again, that is embarrassing, but silver lining. If I was the first Muslim rejected from flying for being too drunk, that might be an international service. Because imagine, that would make the news, Daily Mail would print a headline, Muslim man rejected from flying for being too drunk. And someone's going to read that and go, they're all right, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a nice bloke, that one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's my time. My name is Ishan Akbar. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>